Okay, we all know that the show and the tell is an absolute most fun part of any shopping experience, am I right? So I love thrifting and vintage shopping and you know, that's, that's my happy place. So I love sharing them with you and today I have a bunch of, what have I got here? I've got clothing, hats, sheets, kitchenware, glassware, some sewing things, there's a bunch of things. So if you're interested to uh, have a look through my stash that I found here, Let's get in and I'll show you the show and the tell. Welcome back lovely ladies and gents. Thank you for being here today. If we haven't actually met, my name is Evelyn Wood and here on this channel we do everything sewing, vintage and fashion and sometimes that's a bit of thrifting because that is one of my favorite things to do. I generally don't buy anything new, pretty much 95% of everything I buy is secondhand, so thrifted, vintage, garage sailing, side of the road, uh, secondhand basically. Now you guys love to see these uh, treasures that I uh, find. It is, I guess it's always fun to see what, what other people find, right? It's nice to kind of see what unique little treasures are out there. So let me show you through my stash I got today. Actually, this is several months worth. This is not, this is not a one spree's worth. This is a few months. I sort of save it in a little pile and just wait to make a video for you guys to show you. Let me show you some of the kitchen things and then we'll go on to all the fabrics and clothing and all of that stuff. So I last week went to a, uh, a church sort of garage sale. So they have, uh, they have one every six months there. I've been there before and found some great things. So I jumped at the chance when I saw this one was on again. And they always have some of the best things because people just donate things. They don't sort of separate it into vintage and not vintage and price it up or anything. There's a really good things to rummage through. So I love these kinds. So there's a bunch of glassware things I got for a water plant, um, a bunch of different little glass and crystal uh, bowls and little tiny little um, condiment sort of dishes for either condiments or actually in the sewing room to put pins and other bits and pieces on. So she actually I threw in these ones for free because I don't know, she must've just liked me. Um, just like four jars with little cork lids to put, these will be going in the sewing room uh, with buttons, something like that. I'll find use for them. Another beautiful crystal bowl. This one's got little claw feet. Love this. This will be going down in stairs in the sewing room. It's going to house some pins, knickknacks, you know, all those random things we have. I can never pass up random, like beautiful drinking glasses. Uh, I love them, particularly if you get crystal even better. Most of the time you do. Mine are all just random because I apparently have a habit of breaking them. So I've been told anyway. So I always like to collect them when you get them for 50 cents or so. That's how you get lots of beautiful random ones. Just a random wood plinth. I'm going to put mm, pot plant uh, something. Oh, this one's great and so heavy. It's uh, like a marble, um, I don't know, canister. Um, mostly probably meant for the kitchen, but I'm going to use it in the studio uh, to put my, I'll put some padding down the bottom and put my scissors um, in here so it's nice and sturdy so it won't fall over and it'll hold those nicely. So. This I got because it's so cool. So way before they used to have pl plastic wrap or anything, this was like your old fashioned like takeaway container. So these little things all slot down so you could put it like straight on top of the stove. Obviously not in the microwave. I'm trying to get away all of little plastic devices in my kitchen. So this is great. And I found these bed sheets. Look at the colors of these. It's beautiful. These like red and white stripes. It's like a really crisp cotton. Okay, I've already washed them and they're really wrinkly. I haven't ironed them. So they look a little bit like a dish rag at the moment. So I actually love these so much. I put them on Instagram and I asked you guys what you think I should use them for. Should I sleep in them or should I actually use these as fabric and turn it into something fabulous like think 1930s sportswear little outfit or something like that mm. yeah guess what you're voted for mm. my thoughts exactly so at that same church garage sale i also got this this is uh from hang on birch haberdashery 1987 uh, it's a big like pattern cutting drafting board um, at first 
Um, the guy there just looked at me and was like, you must be into dressmaking or something because no one has looked at this. So he gave it to me for a whole dollar. One whole dollar. Of course no one else is going to get this except me. So it's actually uh, like full, it's got all the grid lines on it. It has um, templates for circle skirts and lots of scalloped edging, um, which is really fantastic. Uh, I sort of been thinking about needing one of these, like um, having a grid line to, for demonstration purposes. It'll make it far easier to demonstrate pattern making and things like that. At first, at first I thought it was all just in inches because I, I looked at them and just, Okay, it's obviously inches. Uh, it wasn't until I got home later that I realized one side is inches, the other side is centimeters, but it's in two, like two centimeter lots, so it's close to a cent um, inches. So this side is actually a grid of centimeters, but each grid is two, uh, two centimeters, and that's why I thought it was inches. So even better, because I don't know how to use inches very well. So I was thrilled at finding this, I mean, Good thing I did, because no one else was certainly going to get this, right? But I know you would have gotten this if you saw it too, right? Right. All the dressmakers get all the weird dressmaking things. It's what we do. Moving on, way back at Christmas time, I think, when I was visiting my family out of town uh, into a thrift store and we found these beautiful glass buttons. So there's a pack of um, 20, 30 buttons there, little glass ones, and these little decorative ones. Uh, these. I think these will just be the perfect colour for just the right outfit. Some other jewellery. I can't believe this was at a thrift store. Look at this, probably 50s little like diamante bracelet. Gorgeous. Some red earrings, clip-ons. I always love these colours. And some white ones that probably actually match my outfit even better than the ones I have on today. Oh, and the same stash from there is a couple of necklaces. These are all beaded. Um, this one's like a big choker, this one, um, probably 50s, it's got the beautiful little vintage um, clasp on it, again just beaded, perfect for all the colours I wear. Moving on to some of the clothing that I have found, uh, I love it, it's this beautiful really loose woven uh, linen fabric, this is all hand embroidered, the whole thing is hand stitched uh, as well, sorry not hand stitched, handmade, stitched by machine. But it's beautiful, right? So, unfortunately it did have some stains on the side and I've already soaked it and I have already gotten out the stains, so I'm really happy with that. Actually, on the inside, um, I don't know where or how it was made. The stitches are about like, it's like sewn with a basting stitch. It's like a stitch length of five and nothing has been overlocked or treated um, or finished. Like the edges are just not finished. So it's basically kind of fraying out. So I'm going to have to unpick uh, all the seams and restitch them. But I think it's worth it because this is so nice. All this embroidery is beautiful. I love that sort of like 1930s embroidered uh, look. So happy with this, but it does require a bit of work. This fantastic little boater hat, look at this. It fits like right down on my head too. Usually I must have quite a big head and they don't sit down like this. So I'm loving, I'm loving this. I'll add some ribbon or, you know, hat pin feathers, something like that. And I took this little bag home. It's not vintage. Um, it just has that sort of vintage feel. I just really wanted an evening bag like this beaded and sparkly with a long like crossbody strap. So if I, should I ever need to actually have a crossbody bag that's sparkly, I now have one. It's really well made. Front and back is all beaded. Nothing is falling off, which is quite remarkable. And I can use it as a clutch, of course, as well. One of the uh, thrift stores that I visited um, a few weeks ago was closing down and they had everything like 70% off and I picked up this uh, men's suit. It's all black, you probably can't see it very well. Uh, there are the pants as well, they're being um, cleaned. So a Pierre Cardin beautiful 100% wool pinstripe suit. Uh, so this was about six dollars, um, super cheap. I have some plans for this uh, to refashion. Though my beau saw it and then decided that he thought, asked the question, does it fit me? Hmm. Well, I said, perhaps if he does, if he comes to visit me before I refashion it, then we can talk about it. Nice cotton grey men's shirt that will go in for refashioning. And another lovely cotton number. Look at this one. So it just sits down. Yep. It's really nice and light. I love it. I thought about um, possibly, you know, taking 
taking this part off but I thought how good would it look with a shawl like um, like a scarf coming through and the scarf actually coming down through here so I think that's how I might look at styling that when it's a little bit cooler though with these sleeves I always have luck in the uh, sleepwear lingerie section look at this so luxurious so it's very swing it's got a lot of fullness through here I know so this is polyester which I don't usually like but it is really really silky and it feels like fabric not like plastic so I will either wear this one as sleepwear or I might actually consider taking off this sort of lingerie lace and adding a different kind of lace and using it as a kind of like a light jacket type thing so we'll see about that one also unearthed this gorgeous top has a real like Edwardian type feel to it with this lace uh, this sort of wasted look at the bottom it's a lovely rayon it's got little pearls little covered buttons it's adorable I can't help myself with these it goes with everything you can mix it for sort of any decade of style with any type of skirt and really mix it up I love I love blouses like that this one's super cute it's a modern top it's a, like knitted but look at those sleeves they're like full puffy excellent like full on lovely like 30s look to it high neck imagine with a little brooch here it's got these puffy sleeves it looks fantastic it was a really great find moving along to another one another top along the sort of 30s peasant wear type um, look is this one not hand embroidered or anything like that but it should just sit right cropped at my waist and how cute is that going to look I think it'll really suit my wardrobe and these you know how much I dislike these we'll be getting the chop immediately uh, a men's vest pattern because well I think you know why got this belt so just a little little elastic it's a little bit 80s looking but a little bit you know I just there's something about it so it came home another great big giant scarf I've had this here for months waiting to show you look at the size of this I know it's enormous so um, this will be great to either wear as you know scarf or of course my headgear and I can get a ginormous kind of bow happening with that one now another thing I can't help myself with is when I find these like detachable um, faux fur collars I usually get them because it's really hard to work with fur it's annoying fluff goes everywhere I don't like it so if I find them already made and something I could add on to something I get them saves me the hassle later now I got these ages ago too I have these crazy little coat hangers there's five together so I always like unique sort of hangers and, and everything. I like my velvet ones to hold everything on properly, they're my, my staples, but I do like to get um, unusual ones like this. So these are quite old and they flip like this, locks it in place and it holds it there, go like this and it opens it and you have to squish your pants in there so you don't get little like stab claw marks where, um, you know, with those like modern ones. So there's five in there. So I think they're great. They're super studio, perfect. So I got a good mix of things uh, over the last few months, some clothing, some kitchenware, some dressmaking things. I honestly, rummaging through secondhand items is like my happy place. I just love it so much. So there are some really great items out there that we don't really need to buy anything new. I don't know why anybody does because the secondhand stuff you can find is so much better. So leave me your comments below. Tell me your favorite items uh, from here. What would you have not left the store with, without either? Like this video if you liked it and until next time, bye. Oh, uh, yeah, it's pretty big. Oh.